administration where any uh, sliding toward the full uh, scale uh, civil war in uh, Syria would be catastrophic. Uh, and the Security Council uh, now needs to have that kind of strategic discussion on how that needs to be avoided. After 15 months of violence, only very strong signals will have an impact. I mean, small diplomatic steps will not su suffice. The government of Syria needs to take steps to convince, I would say, not only the international community, but more importantly, the Syrian people, that it is ready for a new course. The decision rests in the first instance with the Syrian government, whether it will fulfill its commitments, and if it does, then the opposition has an obligation to reciprocate. If it doesn't, this council has a responsibility to act, and act swiftly and surely. And if we don't, then we are all resigning ourselves in our, uh, to a third scenario, which we still hope to avoid, and that is why we continue to support the Annan plan, and that is why we are continuing to work with colleagues in the council on a collective way forward. We uh, support political settlement in Syria. Uh, we are not one-sided. Uh, we are not uh, allied uh, in some kind of treaty form with the, with the government. This is a country with which we have had uh, a long and friendly relationship uh, for, for a long time. And uh, uh, we are very troubled by the current tragedy. And uh, we think uh, the, the, the strategy we have been advocating from the outset uh, has been a, a strategy which brought about the Kofi Annan plan, brought about the Kofi Annan plan, and which needs to be implemented. When they give up with Kofi Annan's plan, that means that they are betting from the beginning on the failure of Mr. Kofi Annan's plan. Once again, we are fully committed to the success of Mr. Kofi Annan's plan. But we need everybody else to be equally committed and on board. Stop mingling with the blood of our people. Many Syrian innocents got killed because of this misbehavior of these outsiders. I we are at a tipping point. The Syrian people do not want a future, their future to be one of bloodshed and division. Yet the killings continue and the abuses are still with us today. As I reminded the President, the international community will soon be reviewing the crisis in Syria, will be reviewing the situation. I appeal to him to take bold steps now, not tomorrow, now, to create momentum for the implementation of the plan. <laughs> from China. You are, you are, you are. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you.